This is an educational presentation about the New York Stock Exchange brought to you by Onboard Tours. The New York Stock Exchange, or the Big Board as stock traders know it, is among the most significant institutions in Manhattan, New York. It's the world's largest stock trading exchange. The average volume of shares traded on the uh, New York Stock Exchange is an estimated $153 billion. It's a landmark that if you visit Manhattan, you've got to come see it. The building is spectacular, uh, and it's uh, so impressive that it's been shown in multiple uh, significant films, including Eddie Murphy's Trading Places and Wall Street with Michael Douglas. It's probably the most well-known building in the financial district in New York City, set at 11 Wall Street on the corner of Broad near Battery Park City. It has a classical revival architecture, and it's truly a majestic building. In the picture shown here, you can see the columns in front with the impressive uh, head, header at the top. Uh, this picture shows the American flag that was hung there uh, in sympathy with those who lost their lives in the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attack. For visitors, it's really uh, an impressive sight to see and it brings to reality uh, what you hear about on television and in the media uh, with regard to the largest stock exchange in the world. Most people have heard of it, uh, very few have gotten to see it, so if you make it to New York City, make sure you come by and, and check it out. Uh, two really good ways to do that are on the onboard NYC at All Tour or the NYC Freedom Tour. In both of those tours, your tour guide will take you to the New York Stock Exchange, tell you about its history, show you all the um, uh, little minutia that you're, off, you're likely to miss if you walk there by yourself. The New York Stock Exchange Wall Street stop is a very popular stop on onboards tours. Um, you'll get off the bus at Broadway and walk down Wall Street seeing Federal Hall where George Washington was inaugurated. Uh, you'll see the site of the first terrorist attack in the United States. And of course, you'll end up uh, seeing the uh, majestic New York Stock Exchange building. The entire stop only takes about 10 minutes. Uh, the New York Stock Exchange is on the corner of Broad and Wall Street. It has been closed to tourists since the World Trade Center attack in 2001, and we don't anticipate that it will ever reopen, but uh, you can certainly see the outside of it and see the comings and goings of the traders um, in the Wall Street area. Uh, you get an amazing view of the building on the onboard tours, seeing the Corinthian columns and the majestic building. The exchange itself was established in 1792 when 24 New York City companies and suppliers fit finalized what they called a buttonwood contract under a buttonwood shrub. Since then, the NYSE has expanded to become the international icon that it is today. Please remember that when you're at Wall Street, you're only a few blocks away from South Street Seaport where you can catch a boat cruise and see the Statue of Liberty, the Brooklyn Bridge, and fantastic views of Lower Manhattan. Of course, those boat cruises are included if you buy the NYC at All Tour or the NYC Freedom Tour. Another great icon near Wall Street is the Bowling Green Bull. It's a 7,000 pound bronze statue uh, in the middle of a street, in the middle of an intersection. Uh, it uh, was created by artist Arturo Di Matica and was put in uh, Wall Street, in the Wall Street area, in 1989, uh, you'll see stock traders walking by, rub the nose of the bull for good luck. Um, and the statute was allegedly motivated by the 1987 stock market crash. Uh, you'll get all the history of the statue and the uh, interesting story about how it came to be placed in the Wall Street area if you take an onboard tour. Now for a word from our sponsor, uh, onboard tours typically combine a walking tour with a yacht cruise and short rides on a climate controlled mini coach. Uh, we also include these boat cruises because they give you a great perspective on the city. Uh, if you would be so kind as to check out some of these other links, they'll give you more information about sightseeing, particularly in New York City. Thank you for watching our presentation.